Hey, what's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we are going to unpack the fish that I just got from a couple different fish places. Uh, Petco. I like their, uh, they got some pretty good fish. Uh, actually, I went to my local fish store. It's called, uh, if you're in Dallas, Dallas North Aquarium. That's an awesome place to go to. Um, they got some good fish. And I got some cool looking um I'll show you. Those cool little uh, sword tails is, is what they called them. But I've never seen these before. Let's see here. And I got some plants. All right, I'll show you. So we're going to acclimate these. Let's see here. All right, so let's see if I got this. So first from Petco, don't really need to acclimate those plants, but I've got some java fern in there, and what they call this is assorted plants. So I really don't know, I'll pull those out and show you. But first, the priority is getting these fish acclimated in the water, okay? Let's see, so I got this Ludwigia from the Dallas North. That's pretty cool, I'll show you that. But, Let's see here. Oh, yeah. So I got some some cherry shrimp. I don't know if you can see it through the bag there. Oh, let's see here. Cherry shrimp. Those are very pretty shrimp. They're very peaceful. They don't bother anybody. Hopefully they'll do okay in my tank. I'm going to go ahead and take that top off. Got the top off. Let me show you this these cherry shrimp again. Look at that. They're cool looking, aren't they? Focus, focus. Let's see here. Yeah, that's neat. I need to pull, take some of this water out of this tank because I just filled it up last night. Pour some out. Always having to do something. Let's see here. Where'd my bucket go? So you know what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get, take some water out of this tank. And I don't need to save it because I'll just add fresh water in there, it's no big deal. I'm not pouring any fish in there. Take any fish out. All right, all right. Number one, once again, third time's the charm. The cherry shrimp. Let that acclimate. Acclimate means let it get used to the temperature of the water in the bag to the temperature of the tank. Number two, you'll like these. These are cool looking. Check these out. These are called, let's see, what are these called? These are, they look like, they look like, I guess they're sword tails. I mean, they're long, they got a long body like sword tails. Okay, put those in there. Acclimate those, looks like I need to take some more water out. I should have, you know what? Thinking about it, I should have just did a water change. <laughs> That's okay. I was in a hurry to get these fish in the tank. And I think finally, got some, well not finally. Let's see, I've got some, oh. Female guppies. These are from Petco. Female guppies uh, for my male guppies. Uh, Dallas North didn't actually have any female guppies and lately female guppies have been hard to find that looks pretty cool there's the cherry shrimp but probably better view right there and uh, these sword tail looking things that's pretty cool right there huh 
those are pretty the black and white ones in the back there in the bag so, aren't they cool the black uh, backs with the white fronts not that dude got the get out of my way there you go yeah that dude right there in the back he's cool and I think that's it is that it oh you know what Petco I, I looked at this tank this is very interesting so I looked at this tank and I was like hey what kind of snail is that and she's like that's the that's a pest snail I was like pest snail that snail looks very pretty so she actually I can't can't focus into that she actually gave me that pest snail so I don't know it kind of looks like a ram's horn snail not really but a little bit because it's got that that ram's horn looking thing but we will put that in and see how it does so acclimation process wait here set the timer for uh, 20 minutes some people do 15 uh, I do 20 uh, just to make sure that if there's a large volume of water that needs to get acclimated to the tank uh, that, that everything works out fine. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to yank that beta out of there and put him, well he, he might be getting used to it. I think he might be getting used to it. I was going to yank him out and put him in his little, uh, into his little um, base that he's used to because when I stuck him in here, he really did not like being in here, being social with these other fish. And I did a video before uh, explaining about how betas have different personalities. But I mean, he might be getting used to it. He might be hanging out. Um, so maybe we'll give him another day or two just to see, because he is pretty. I mean, he's a real nice purple bell tail. He is he's very cool looking. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen one like that, uh, that pretty in a while. Uh, that color, I mean, they're all pretty to me, but uh, that color, but all he does really, you saw him, is he comes out, he eats, and then he jets back into those rocks back there. So maybe I move him. I think I will move him. Uh, but uh, acclimation is started, and I will uh, show you when it's done how I put him in the tank. <laughs> all right, guys, so these have been acclimating for quite a while and uh, we'll go ahead and take them out. Let's start off with the cherry shrimp. Now, it's, with the shrimp, you're supposed to drip acclimate, which means you're supposed to put a tube up in the, the tank and let the water come in here, but I'm just gonna pour them out and see what happens. Uh, to uh, pour them out, all we do is we take, and this is how we do all the fish. We're just gonna take them, uh, open the bag and pour them through this net. through this net here. Right there. Look at that, huh? That works out just great. Let's see. Let's take these. Oop. Take these shrimp. Open up the bag. I'm going to do this off camera since I only have one hand here. Open it up and pour it through the bag. Let's see. All right, so the reason why we don't just directly pour all the water in the, from the bag into the tank is we don't want to cross-contaminate or, you know, uh, as least as possible, cross-contaminate anything from the uh, fish store to your tanks. You know, of course, they got water on the fish, on the shrimp, and you, and you can transmit diseases, and we'll talk about treating those diseases later because I will definitely be doing that and quarantining uh you know you're supposed to have a quarantine tank but for us normal regular hobbyists we're not going to be able to we don't have the extra tank to do that so we have to treat directly uh in our tanks and we'll do that in a later video but there's a shrimp back there that i just released uh hopefully they'll be they'll be doing all right we'll go ahead and release these female guppies look how pretty they are they are very pretty. Got some with the yellow tail, orange tails. That's a plain looking one there she gave me. Uh, yellow tail, let's see. Nice little combo right there, the yellow and orange tail. That's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and release these. 
into the net into the net and let me see if I can do this Pop that open. Ah, uh, now I'm going to have to use two hands for that. So, they're doing pretty good. They're all hanging out here. Brand new guppies. Wondering what's going on. They're hanging, swimming together. Checking out the new digs. There's a male guppy. Want to uh, check out the girls. She's perfectly natural. Hopefully we'll have some, some breeding pairs in here now that I introduced some females in there with the males and see what uh, what kind of babies they can have. Let's go ahead and do the snail. The, for the snails, the best way is just to pop open the bag and grab them with your hand and gently uh, Pry them off the, the corner of uh, off the side of the bag because you don't want to hurt their foot. The foot is what they use to uh, grab on to the surfaces. So you don't want to damage that. I wonder if I can show you that here. Let's see. I wonder if I can show you that. Open this up. Oops, what the heck? Pour the water out. Stick my hand in there. Oh, let's see. Make sure my, my hand is a little damp. There we go. There's the snail. He's pretty cool looking, huh? We'll gently drop him into the tank and let him float there for a while until he gets his uh, until he gets used to it. Gets used to it. Let's see here. He's floating there now. What we have left are these platies, maybe sword tails. They said they were sword tails. They kind of look like sword tails, maybe. No, they're not. I don't think they're play some type of uh, live bear, but they're pretty. They're very pretty. And we'll take a look at those guys. There's one of the new cherry shrimp. He was on that shrimp block there that that autosynclus is now on. There's that pest snail. That cherry shrimp's really cool. He's very active. Here's my ram. I think he's a Gold ram, you sold to me as a German blue ram. There's the uh, sword tail, they say. I say they say because I'm not really convinced, but maybe. There's those sword tails back there, congregating. They're like, hey, what's going on here? I'm gonna plant, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna rearrange those plants eventually. Make the tank look a little more um, organized, I guess. There's a nice cherry shrimp. There's some ghost shrimp there, check that out. Ghost shrimp checking out the cherry shrimp. Doing a little experiment to see if the ghost shrimp will live with the cherry shrimp. I've heard stories that the ghost shrimp will eat the cherry shrimp. Hopefully not, so I didn't get that many. We'll see. There's a cool looking, there's a couple ghost shrimps right there. You see them? 
One in the middle, one to the left of the one in the middle. Yeah, that's pretty neat, huh? And those are, I know I keep, I know I said this before, but those are um, sold as feeder shrimp, but they are so cool, I, I keep those in my community tank. That's really neat. Oh, right there, you see them? Pretty neat, huh? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, arrange some of these plants that we got. There's the uh, guppies there, the new guppies. You can see the females hanging out with the males like they're supposed to do. Awesome. All right. All right, so those are all the fish, and check out that snail. He's already latched onto that glass. That's pretty cool right there. I don't know if you can see that. Come on, focus. There we go. That's pretty cool. So he's already uh, doing his thing. They call him the pest snail at the store. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but uh, he looks cool. So I, t I asked if I can have him. They said, yeah, they gave him to me. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't just super multiply, but if he does, I've got some fish in here that'll eat him. There's one of those sword tail. Uh, they're that's not the one I've had him ar already, but the ones behind him, let's see here. Oh, there's one right there. Right there. Can you see him? Hello. Hello, buddy. That's pretty cool. He's neat. Hey, all right. He does have, um, no, I was going to say he has part of his tail bitten off, but actually it's black at the top and clear on the bottom. Oh, look. Look, look who's out. Beta's out. Beta's out. Is out. Not for long though. He doesn't hang out very long. Okay, let me. There's a new one. There's a new live bear. There's the uh, sword tail that they said is a sword tail. Or she, right? Sword tails without the tail are females usually. They don't have the gonopodium, the sex organ. Um, here's the plants that I got. These are the assorted plant. Don't know exactly. If y'all know what kind of plant that is, let me know. That's pretty cool. Um, so we'll see how that, that grows. And we've got the bunch of Ludwigia. Ludwigia. That's very pretty. I'll plant those in there. And we should have another... Yep bunch of java fern so we'll plant those in there make it look pretty probably do a water change uh, medicate the tank maybe and um, I think that's it Let's see did I forget anything I don't think so I'll show you what it looks like afterwards after everything's said and done but um, that's the trip to the fish store today the two fish stores and us uh, adding fish to the tank acclimating the fish uh, i think you guys got the idea um thanks a lot for watching really appreciate it give me a thumbs up comment um like subscribe do all that stuff hit the bell notification and thanks a lot for watching happy fish keeping peace